Iced Earth is an American heavy metal band from Tampa, Florida. It was formed in 1984 under the name The Rose, then Purgatory by guitarist and main songwriter John Schaefer and original drummer Greg Seymour. Iced Earth released their debut album in 1990 and have since released 13 studio albums, 4 EPs, 3 compilations, 3 box sets, 3 live albums and 11 music videos. After releasing the demo EP Enter the Realm 1989 and signing to Century Media Records, the band released two full-length studio albums, Iced Earth 1990 and Night of the Stormrider 1991 before taking a two-year hiatus from 1992 to 1994, after which the band returned with new lead vocalist Matt Barlow. Iced Earth went on to release four studio albums with Barlow between 1995 and 2001, respectively, 1995's Burnt Offerings, 1996's The Dark Saga, 1998's Something Wicked This Way Comes and 2001's Horror Show. After Horror Show, Barlow quit the band and joined the police force, while Iced Earth continued on with Tim Ripper Owens, of Judas Priest fame, on vocals. With Owens, the band released two studio albums 2004's The Glorious Burden and 2007's Framing Armageddon. In late 2007, Matt Barlow rejoined the band, and they recorded one more album with him, The Crucible of Man 2008. In 2011, Barlow left the band again. Later that year, Into Eternity frontman Stu Block became Iced Earth's new lead vocalist. Dystopia, Block's first album with the group, was released in October 2011. It received a positive response, some critics call Dystopia one of Iced Earth's best albums. The group has since recorded two more albums with Block, Plagues of Babylon 2014 and Incorruptible 2017. Before arriving at their current lineup, Iced Earth has had numerous lineup changes, with founder John Schaefer staying as the last remaining member. As of 2013, there have been over 20 musicians in and out of Iced Earth since its formation in 1985 see, List of Iced Earth band members for more details. Currently, the band is composed of rhythm guitarist John Schaefer, lead singer Stu Block, bassist Luke Appleton, drummer Brent Smedley, and lead guitarist Jake Dreyer. History. Topic: Formation and early years, 1984 to 1989. The central figure of Iced Earth is and has been guitarist John Schaefer, who formed the band on January 20, 1985, in Tampa, Florida. Schaefer's original vision for the band started under the moniker The Rose in 1984. The group was very short-lived, after which Schaefer formed a band called Purgatory, which would eventually change its name to Iced Earth. Lineup changes were common within the band, with John Schaefer staying as the only constant member. The group recorded a demo in 1985, titled Psychotic Dreams. In 1988, Purgatory changed its name to Iced Earth. According to Schaefer, a friend of his, who died in a motorcycle accident prior to Schaefer moving to Florida was responsible for the name. In 1989, Iced Earth recorded another demo called Enter the Realm, with the lineup of Gene Adam on vocals, Randall Shorver on lead guitar, Dave Abel on bass, Greg Seymour on drums and John Schaefer on rhythm guitar and vocals. All of the songs on Enter the Realm would later appear on the band's debut album, with the exception of Nightmares and the title track. Topic: <laughs> Self-titled debut album and Night of the Stormrider, 1990 to 1992. After getting signed to Century Media Records, the band, now with Mike McGill on drums, started work on their debut album. Recorded at Morris Sound Recording, with Tom Morris and John Schaefer as producers, Iced Earth was released in November, 1990 in Europe and on February 25, 1991 in the U.S. 
Following the album's release, Iced Earth toured across Europe with Blind Guardian. Following their self titled debut, Iced Earth quickly began work on their second album. Prior to the recording process, singer Gene Adam was let go from the band after he refused to take singing lessons. Adam was subsequently replaced by John Greeley, as was drummer Mike McGill by Richie Secchiari. The album, entitled Night of the Stormrider, was again recorded at Morris Sound Recording, with Schaefer and Tom Morris as producers. The album was released on November 11, 1991, in Europe, but in the US, the album's release was delayed until April 1992, so it wouldn't compete with the group's debut album. Following Night of the Stormrider's release, Iced Earth again toured Europe with Blind Guardian. Topic: <laughs> Burnt Offerings and the Dark Saga, 1995 to 1997. Following the supporting tour for Night of the Stormrider, Iced Earth entered a two-year hiatus from 1992 to 1994. During this downtime, the band was faced with issues that almost resulted in them breaking up, but eventually Iced Earth resurfaced with Burnt Offerings. Heralded as Iced Earth's heaviest album, Burnt Offerings was released on April 14, 1995, and was the band's first album to feature drummer Rodney Beasley and vocalist Matthew Barlow. In January, 1996, Iced Earth began recording their fourth studio album, this time with Tom Morris's brother Jim Morris acting as co-producer, along with John Schaefer. The album was also the first to feature drummer Mark Prater, and the last to feature longtime bassist Dave Abel, who left the group after finishing recording. Although Abel was credited for playing on the album, bassist Keith Menzer appears on the back cover, because Century Media demanded the touring lineup to appear on the cover. Incidentally, Keith Menzer was fired after he didn't learn any of the band's songs for the tour, so he was soon replaced by James McDonough. Mark Prater was also let go from the band, and was subsequently replaced by Brent Smedley. Released on May 23, 1996, The Dark Saga was a concept album based on the comic book character Spawn. Musically the album was much more melodic and simplified compared to previous Iced Earth albums. For the supporting tour, Iced Earth was joined by Nevermore. On April 21, 1997, Iced Earth released their first compilation album, Days of Purgatory. The album featured songs from their first two albums, as well as the Enter the Realm demo, re-sung by Matt Barlow, with new drums and bass on some tracks as well. The album also featured a few songs from Burnt Offerings, remixed and remastered. <laughs> Something Wicked This Way Comes and Alive in Athens 1998-1999 In March, 1998, work began on the band's fifth studio album, with Jim Morris returning as the producer. Prior to the recording process, longtime guitarist Randall Shorva left the group. Guitarist Larry Tarnovsky handled lead guitar duties on the album, but wasn't credited as a full-time member of the band, but as a session musician. Brent Smedley was also unable to play on the album, due to personal reasons, and was temporarily replaced by Mark Prater, whom Smedley had originally replaced in 1996. Released on June 17, 1998, Something Wicked This Way Comes was notable for featuring the debut of John Schaefer's Something Wicked Saga, which he would expand upon on future albums. While on the supporting tour for Something Wicked This Way Comes with Brent Smedley back on drums, the band recorded their first live album in Athens, Greece on January 23 and January 24, 1999. Entitled Alive in Athens, the three-CD set was recorded in front of a sold-out audience both nights at the Rodden Club. The album was released on July 19, 1999. Also in 1999, the band released the Melancholy EP. Originally conceived as a radio-only single, the EP contained three previously released songs, Melancholy, Holy Martyr, Watching Over Me, and I Died For You, as well as two new ones cover versions of Bad Company's Shooting Star and Black Sabbath's Electric Funeral. 
However, Century Media Records did not end up releasing the EP, so it was made available for fans as a limited 1500 copy special release. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Horror Show and the Glorious Burden 2000 to 2004. In 2000, work began on Iced Earth's sixth studio album. Entitled Horror Show, the album contained songs based on horror films and literature, such as Dracula, The Phantom of the Opera and The Wolfman. Released on June 26, 2001, the album was the band's first to feature drummer Richard Christie, and the third with guitarist Larry Tarnovsky now a full-time member. Originally Steve DiGiorgio played bass on the album, but left the group after the recording process. According to John Schaefer, Di Giorgio was required and agreed to go on tour, but left due to prior commitments. He was replaced by James McDonough. Horror Show was also the first Iced Earth album to be partially recorded at John Schaefer's home studio, Schaefer Sound, on November 26, 2001, March 5, 2002 in America. The band released the box set Dark Genesis, which featured the band's first 3 albums plus the Enter the Realm demo, remastered and remixed with new cover art. The set also featured a new album entitled Tribute to the Gods. It was Iced Earth's seventh studio album, featuring songs from such bands as Iron Maiden, Kiss and Blue Oyster Cult. After the events of 9-11, Matt Barlow came to the conclusion that he wanted to start contributing to the real world. Barlow approached Schaefer with this in late 2002, but Schaefer convinced Barlow to stay with the band. When Iced Earth began recording their next studio album, Schaefer realized that Barlow's vocals were not what he desired, he felt that they lacked passion and quality, so he decided to let Barlow go after all. Barlow became a police officer in the Georgetown Police Department in Georgetown, Delaware. After Barlow's departure, Iced Earth continued work on their next album, and eventually John Schaefer got Tim Ripper Owens, from Judas Priest, to sing on the record as a favor. Owens, who was still in Judas Priest at the time, was originally supposed to be credited as a guest musician, but after singer Rob Halford rejoined Judas Priest, Owens joined Iced Earth full time. Prior to the recording process, Larry Tarnovsky was let go from the band, so the lead guitar parts on the album were played by producer Jim Morris and session guitarist Ralph Santoya. Prior to the album's release, Iced Earth released The Reckoning. The single contained four songs off the new album, that the band felt were most likely to get radio airplay. The Glorious Burden was released on January 12, 2004, in Europe and on January 13, in the United States. Much like how Horror Show was based on horror films and literature, The Glorious Burden was inspired by historical events. It was also the band's first album with their new record company SPV. Following the supporting tour, James McDonough left Iced Earth to join Megadeth. Topic: <laughs> Framing Armageddon and the Crucible of Man, 2005 to 2010. After the Glorious Burden, work began on the group's next album, which would be an expanded concept album on the Something Wicked. Storyline from Something Wicked This Way Comes. Before starting work on the album, Iced Earth was faced with multiple lineup changes. In July, 2006, Ernie Carletti was chosen as the group's new lead guitar player, but after being faced with rape and kidnapping charges, he was replaced by Tim Mills. Incidentally, Tim Mills was also forced to leave Iced Earth in order to concentrate on his own business. Bare Knuckle Pickups. In October 2006, Brent Smedley rejoined Iced Earth again, replacing Richard Christie on the drums. Because the band were left without a bassist and lead guitar player, John Schaefer ended up performing most of the lead guitar and bass parts on the album, although some tracks featured playing from producer Jim Morris, guitarist Troy Seal and bassist Dennis Hayes. 
In May, 2007, Seal was announced as a permanent member of the band, as was Dennis Hayes two months earlier. Before releasing the full length album, Iced Earth released the EP Overture of The Wicked, which featured re recorded versions of the original, Something Wicked trilogy, as well as a brand new track, entitled, 10,000 Strong. Framing Armageddon, Something Wicked Part 1 was released on September 7, 2007, in Germany, September 10, in the rest of Europe, and on September 11, in the United States. In December, 2007, it was announced that Matt Barlow would be rejoining Iced Earth after five years. Following his return, work continued on Iced Earth's next album, originally titled Revelation Abomination, Something Wicked Part 2. Majority of the album's music had been recorded at the same time as Framing Armageddon, and originally John Schaefer had planned to finish the album after the end of 2007. However work on the album had to be pushed back, due to Barlow's prior commitments to his other band, Pyramids. In early 2008, it was announced that Dennis Hayes had been replaced by bassist Freddie Vidales. Before releasing their next full length album, Iced Earth released the single I Walk Among You, which contained a new song from the forthcoming album, as well as two songs from Framing Armageddon, re sung by Matt Barlow. After being retitled The Crucible of Man, Something Wicked Part 2, Iced Earth's tenth studio album was released in September, 2008. After The Crucible of Man, the band released Box of the Wicked, in early 2010. The box set contained Framing Armageddon, Something Wicked Part 1, The Crucible of Man, Something Wicked Part 2, The Overture of the Wicked EP and the I Walk Among You single, as well as a bonus CD, containing one song from Framing Armageddon, now with Matt Barlow on lead vocals, as well as three previously unreleased live tracks from the Grassbop Metal Meeting Festival in 2008. The box set also included a poster and a booklet. Also in early 2010, Iced Earth signed a new contract with their former record company, Century Media Records. Topic: <laughs> Dystopia 2011-2012 In March, 2011, Matt Barlow issued a statement on Iced Earth's official website, stating that he was retiring from the band due to family commitments, among other things. Barlow still took part in the band's 2011 summer tour, and played his final show with Iced Earth on August 6, 2011, at the Wacken Open Air Festival in Germany. Shortly after announcing Barlow's departure, Iced Earth revealed that Into Eternity frontman Stu Block had been chosen as the band's new lead vocalist. With Stu Block now on board, Iced Earth began recording their next studio album in May, 2011. On June 27, 2011, the band released the DVD Festivals of the Wicked, which featured shows from Metal Camp Open Air 2008, the Rock Hard Festival 2008, and Wacken Open Air 2007. On September 7, 2011, Iced Earth released a re-recorded version of the song, Dante's Inferno from the album Burnt Offerings. The band's new album Dystopia was released on October 17, 2011 in Europe and October 18 in the United States. While not a concept album, many of the album's songs were inspired by dystopian themes and films such as V for Vendetta, Dark City and Equilibrium. Two songs, Dystopia and Tragedy and Triumph, also featured the return of the Something Wicked storyline. After the Dystopia's release, Iced Earth kicked off the Dystopia World Tour, which was heralded as the most extensive world tour Iced Earth has ever undertaken, and that it would take the band to countries it has never previously played. On April 10, 2012, it was announced that Freddie Vidales had left Iced Earth. He was subsequently replaced by Luke Appleton from Fury UK. On August 19, 2012, Iced Earth recorded a new live CD, DVD in Cyprus, entitled Live in Ancient Corion. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Plagues of Babylon and Incorruptible 2013 present. Iced Earth began writing new material for their 12th studio album in early 2013. 
Drummer Brent Smedley left the band in May 2013 due to personal reasons. Raphael Sini therefore played drums on the album, titled Plagues of Babylon, as well as filling in on tour until John Dett took over on drums in November 2013. The album was released in January 2014, reaching position number 5 on the German media control charts, which is band's highest chart position in their entire career. On April 7, 2015, following a period of inactivity as a result of Schaefer requiring cervical fusion surgery, the band announced that Iced Earth would begin writing for their 13th studio album. The announcement also revealed that drummer Brent Smedley had rejoined the band, replacing Debt, and that the new album was to be tentatively titled The Judas Goat, with an expected release date and subsequent touring cycle in early 2016. In August 2016 lead guitarist Troy Seal announced his departure from the band citing family reasons. He was replaced on September 25, 2016, by Jake Dreyer. On December 6, 2016, Schaefer spoke in an interview with Fernando Bononfon from Metal Wani and announced that the new album would be called Incorruptible, originally due for release in May 2017. On March 13, 2017, the band confirmed that they had completed work on the album for a mid June release. On April 6, the artwork was revealed with the album being set for a June 16 release. The release of the album also fulfilled the band's second deal with Century Media Records. On October 26, 2018, it was revealed that John Schaefer had recruited previous Iced Earth members Gene Adam vocals and Bill Owen lead guitar, along with guests Jim Morris lead guitar, Reuben Drake bass guitar, and Mark Prater drums, to form John Schaefer's Purgatory, taking the name from the precursor to Iced Earth. The band had re-recorded old pre-Iced Earth demos, including in their original form, tracks that were later re-recorded for Iced Earth releases. This EP, titled Purgatory, was released in December 2018. Iced Earth's 1989 demo Enter the Realm was released on CD and vinyl for the first time on April 12, 2019, exactly 30 years after its original release. Topic. Musical style and lyrical themes Iced Earth has commonly been described as heavy metal, thrash metal and power metal. When asked about the band's musical style, John Schaefer, Iced Earth's chief songwriter, said, We're a metal band. That's what we are. We have every dynamic from Pink Floyd to Slayer and everything in between. Iced Earth's music has evolved and shifted several times during the band's history. On the group's 1990 self-titled debut album, the band's sound was characterized by time changes, acoustic passages and Iron Maiden-type galloping rhythms. Many of these elements carried over to the follow-up album Night of the Stormrider, which added keyboards and piano, as well as some choral arrangements. 1995's Burnt Offerings has been heralded as Iced Earth's heaviest album, and included the band's longest song to date, Dante's Inferno, as a countermeasure to Burnt Offerings. 1996's The Dark Saga featured a much more subdued sound compared to previous releases. The focus was less on technical musicianship, but on emotion and melody. Something Wicked This Way comes combined elements found on previous albums with brand new ideas. The Something Wicked trilogy, which closes the album, took many cues from the Night of the Stormrider album. Iced Earth continued to expand their sound throughout the 2000s, like adding a full piece orchestra to the song Gettysburg. From 2004's The Glorious Burden, common lyrical themes in Iced Earth's music have been religion, history, fantasy, literature, and films. The band has also released several concept albums, the first being 1991's Night of the Stormrider. The second, 1996's The Dark Saga, was based on the Todd McFarlane comic book character Spawn. 1998's Something Wicked This Way Comes introduced the Something Wicked saga, which was later expanded upon on 2007's Framing Armageddon, Something Wicked Part 1, and 2008's The Crucible of Man, Something Wicked Part 2. Iced Earth have also released several albums written around a theme. 
2001's horror show was largely based on horror literature and films, 2004's The Glorious Burden was inspired by history and war, while 2011's Dystopia centered around dystopian themes in literature and film. <laughs> Band members Current members Hon Schaefer, rhythm guitar, acoustic guitar, backing vocals, keyboards, mandolin, 1984 present. Stu Block, lead vocals, 2011 present. Luke Appleton, bass, backing vocals, 2012 present. Brent Smedley, drums, 1996-1997, 1998-1999, 2006-2013, 2015-present. Jake Dreyer, lead guitar, 2016 present timeline. Topic: Discography. Studio albums: Earth, 1990; Night of the Storm Rider, 1991; Burnt Offerings, 1995; The Dark Saga, 1996. Something Wicked This Way Comes 1998 Horror Show 2001 The Glorious Burden 2004 Framing Armageddon Something Wicked Part 1 2007 The Crucible of Man Something Wicked Part 2 2008 Dystopia 2011 Plagues of Babylon 2014 Incorruptible 2017